As part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, community leaders and a local Girl Scout troop are teaming up to honor women cancer survivors. Our Emily Slater chatted with organizers of the Survivors Brunch. The Survivors Brunch and Resource Fair is open to any woman in remission or treatment for any kind of cancer. The event coordinator, Paula Davis, is a cancer survivor of 18 years. She says her experiences while in treatment helped guide her planning of the brunch. I felt so totally isolated. I felt like nobody could understand and I was too embarrassed to even say all that I was experiencing. So having other women that have been through, going through, or already came through, that gives you hope. The Survivor's Brunch will be at Matchbox on October 21st. In preparation, Girl Scout Troop 1559 is creating murals for the event. The day will include education, meditation, and pampering. Kelly Capitanio and her students at Christina & Co. will provide pampering services to the survivors. Kelly is an oncology trained spa specialist and will be doing consultations with women dealing with the impacts of cancer and cancer treatment on their bodies. We want to be here for the women and support the beauty because beauty just isn't on the outside, it's on the inside. And sometimes just a little pink here, a little pink there might make someone just flourish that day. The Survivor's Brunch will also have live entertainment led by local musician Christopher Gibson. Music has a way of transporting people and I, I don't care where you are, it can take you somewhere else. Uh, and it has a way of soothing the soul, I believe, uh, has a way of uplifting people, has a way of sustaining people giving people hope. The Survivors Brunch is still looking for more entertainers, volunteers, and sponsors. So while we got a good foundation to really make this a successful event, we need more help. And more importantly, we have to get the women cancer survivors here. We have to make them aware that this is available and that this is available at no cost to them. Sponsorships and tickets are available now. Emily Slater, Star City News, Lafayette.